Howdy! Welcome to the takeout. That's right, the movie edition of The Lunch Table. It's finally back. It is finally back. After a whole year, we are back to do one of these for you. Because all we had to do all year was listen to how bad you wanted. So finally, we put up a wonderful little poll. That's right, our Robin Williams poll. And holy crap, did you guys answer. I mean, we like it when you play with our poll, but this one might have been a little too much. All right. But as you see, the number one winner, Dead Poet Society, not even close. It wasn't even close. So go ahead, grab your favorite snack, get your favorite robe, and meet us at the TV. Ooh, Robin Williams! I'm looking for my pumpkin cookies. Ooh, Dead Poet Society! Yes, would you like to join our club? Oh, horrible bagpipes, horrible. The most annoying. Horrible. horrible. Oh, absolutely horrible. Mm. Uh, red! Red! It's red! Bit disappointed I haven't seen Robin Williams yet. You gotta hold the money shot. Don't want it too early. That's why they need poetry. Yeah! Robin Williams! Robin! Oh, dude, I'm getting Bell's palsy from the from the stutter <laughs> old camera work it's Ethan Hawk that guy doesn't look like he is aged and I don't mean that in a good way like he looks like 40 there oh the ginger pins. look at all those pins that nerd are those the cool kids well what they consider cool uh oh he's gonna beat him what a control freak. Yay! 100% control freak. There he is! There he is, dude! I'm telling you! Okay. 100%! That snotty look definitely <laughs> says he likes me. <laughs> that's, that's, I want to sniff his butthole right now. Are you testing me for the grade or are you testing me for the knowledge here? He's there to be a poet. No, the ginger. Oh. He was throwing shit. Because they all got repressed rage people? from being but their dad's never allowing them to express themselves. So it has to come out in the forms of bullying. Robin Williams being edgy. Yep. Being di- Oh, he's corky. Well, look at his hair, man. The flat top's the only option he got. I never got into poetry. I don't know. I always found it a weird way to express yourself. Because it's not really like a song, so it's not as catchy as a song. Is it a thong? Thong song? Baby, that thong, thong It's not thong, like a thong. knob. No, he looks like he's ashamed <laughs> of like a man. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars I'd do a shower scene. You hear that? You know you know our price now. What year is this set? Jesus Christ. Your mom's here. Your daughter's hot. I want to bone your daughter, <laughs> sir. How do I get up in that? I want to be in them guts. I want to see her yits. Are they not allowed to have a radio? No, dude. No outside influence. Only our teachings. Learn how to suck dick the way we suck dick, and you will also get into elite schools. You need to know all ten tongue exercises before you pass my class. Robin pulls you in. He's, he's good at what he does. That would be my passage. There's no rules. It doesn't have to rhyme. It doesn't have to be spoken in any sort of way. I guess anything is I don't know if you can put that on YouTube. They said the name of the movie. They did. They said the name That's of the, the movie. Cougar. They said title. <laughs> Letting poetry drip from their tongues. You see that spear? It Goldberg with the spear! <coughs> oh look, they're in the middle of the woods looking for poetry. What did you guys do last night? We all sat in a wet, cold-ass cave, 
smoking cigarettes and speaking about poetry and scary stories. Oh, yetis! Look how pointy! Look how coney her boobs are! <laughs> My tears are coming! You're funny! What? They made me say like a slur, they were so gay. I'm too cool to put my feelings on paper. I don't do it because my spelling's weak. And he also taught them how to play soccer somehow. With poetry. Ha! <laughs> Boner. See? A little gay. Dude! Quit being a creep! You can't just be staring at him making out. I mean, Robin Williams is right. I mean, you learn poetry to get girls. 100%. Kinky. Paddle. 100%. Oh! oh, oh the, the cuffs are going up. Oh! Senora. Why would you hire him? Like, uh, not to be rude, but he was a troubled student the whole time he was with you. Then you hire him to be, like, a... a, a Teacher that teaches poetry. You should have known what was gonna happen. Dad, just let me dance. <laughs> just say yes and do it anyway. So he ain't stopping no play once it's started. Just go do it. Oh, he's gonna get his butt whooped. See, they really, like, they never heard that quote before. They really went with it. Seize the day. It's his first play. Yeah. And he's never done it before. And he gets the main part. And standing ovation. How pissed do you think every other tryhard is? Yeah, but my dad also, if he would have went and saw me do a play where everyone gave me a standing ovation and couldn't wait to talk to me till I was out of there, he'd be like, yo, you found your thing. <laughs> he'd be like, I don't agree with it, but that's definitely your thing. This might be... <laughs> Look... He's either about to rub one out or run out in that forest. I can't tell. Uh-oh. This isn't good if that's his parents. Uh-oh. Not good. What? You should have just let him dance. No, right? Why couldn't he just let him act, dude? No. It's a two-hour movie. It's going to explain more than what it has to right at the end to ruin it. And what do you got to think if you're Robin? You're the one who inspired these kids. And because he couldn't live his dream, which he only felt free to live because you inspired him. Man. There it is. He did the captain part. Our loins burned with passion for this man. We just had to stand and call him captain one more time. He died. He's a dead poet. He fulfilled the destiny. Touche. Welcome back. Hopefully you all enjoyed what we had to say on the couch. Sure. Sure. And as always, I know it's been a year. <laughs> but A whole year. A whole year. But as always, Drew, what's the first thing we do? We read the back of the box. Back of the box. Back of the box. Carpe diem, lads. Seize the day. Make your lives extraordinary. When charismatic English professor John Keating. Keating? Keating. Keating? Keening. Captain. Okay. Keating? My captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Oh, captain, my Nom captain. <laughs> Academy Award nominee Robin Williams in 1982. Best actor for Good Morning Vietnam. Arrives at a strict boys academy. His unconventional teaching methods breathe new life into the curriculum steeped in tradition. That's that word. Ha, 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 steeped. <laughs> With his wit and wisdom, Keating inspires his under... Underlings? He inspires his students to pursue individual... God, this is so 
grainy. Individual passions and make their lives extraordinary. Dead Poets, one of the most compelling box office triumphs of the year, touched and... Touched. <laughs> touched audiences oh. and critics alike with its brilliant acting, uplifting story, and superb craftsmanship. Uplifting story? Okay. Get me the fuck out of this section. Uplifting story? <laughs> That's kind of a lie, the back of the box. <laughs> it wasn't very uplifting. You can't advertise in 1989. Self-deletion, Drew. We can't be saying that word. <laughs> I think they're getting wise to the other one, too. That's fine, but it's not edited yet. <laughs> the algorithm hasn't. <laughs> Uh, okay, who who played in this? Obviously, Robin Williams. Oh, yeah. Robin Williams played in it. Robert Sean Leonard as Neil Perry. Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. Uh, John Charles Gale Hansen. Uh, and one of the most exciting people, Kurtwood Smith. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, you do. Do I? You saw it every week growing up. Ooh. Kurtwood Smith is red from the oh. 70s show. Yeah, I did. I only know him as Red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert Sean Leonard is uh, Dr. Wilson in House. Yes. I, he, yes. He is His the, best friend. Uh, yeah. The main Literally, character. he's the guy that hasn't aged. And I don't mean that in a good way. I mean, like, when we were watching him, I know he's supposed to be, like, a teenage boy. But he looks 40 in the movie. Right. And still, to this day, he kind of looks 40. Like uh, His back acne does not. That's true. He had a lot of back acne. A lot acne. of back acne. So. <clears throat> was that all the cast? All That's the big all the cast. cast. But all, all the, you know, it's an older movie and it's a coming in age movie. So a lot of, there's a lot of uh, people that have been in it that have gotten fame pretty much just from that. Yeah. So, well, uh, yeah. this is like a cult classic, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's time for our favorites and. Yeah. We actually get to go through the movie, right? Go ahead. Okay, good. All right. First off, I I know a lot of people complain about animes and how slow it progresses. Holy crap, did this movie take forever to progress. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of just wasted time. Right. And in most movies, they don't have any wasted time because that's a waste of money. Right. Uh, I don't think anyone's acting was bad at all. I no, think a lot of people- All the acting was real good. All the acting was real good. The movie itself was just kind of crap. I, I mean, don't. The, the guy's dance moves were crap. I just, I, I don't get it. First off, how fast they got inspired by Robin Williams. It's over the span of so long. Like, you can see the changing of the seasons. Yeah, but how long would it take you to really like someone enough to go into the same dark cave they did to read poetry and suck bone marrow? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there were girls there the one time. Also... The cave really didn't play that big of a part. Like, yeah, they went there and they... But, like, it was only in a couple scenes. And then, like, the teachers never found out about it. No one really knew about it. And right. then it just kind of got left. Whatever happened to the cave? Did they still go there? Did they not? Do people know? Is that where they, is that where they buried his body? Right. Is that where they buried him? Also, oh, also, yeah. spoiler, here it is. Skip it if you want to. At the very end, when he self-deletes, which we, we already spoiled that away at the beginning. But Sorry. I think it was a very drastic jump. Okay, first off, his dad's not that bad of a guy. Is yeah. he strict? Yeah, he's a little strict. Yeah. But, I mean, the kid went and did one play. His dad was a little upset. Even came to see it. Even came to see it. Right, and he said he wouldn't. Yes, he, he got mad and, yeah. and pulled him out after that. He pulled him out and threatened him with military school. Right. And this kid just takes his life? Which he didn't, which uh, nowhere did it show he was any bit depressed. Yeah. He was the one who was very Going, happy, yeah. loving what everyone, like he's the one who was actually changing throughout the whole right. thing. He was the protagonist. Yeah. He was getting so where do, people to come out of their shells. Right. Where does this and come he, from? He was turning the asshole into a nice guy. Yeah. I think a decent amount of people usually. When it comes to kind of self-deletion like that, there's a decent amount of lead up to it. Even if you don't see it from afar, if you're close to the person, you see it. So in the movie, 
they needed to reflect it somehow. If it was happen, because it, to me it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Then right. they then they kind of focus on it for a second and then skip right over it. The friends weren't surprised. Okay, and you know at the very if you look at the very end, the friends were like, "Man, this really sucks." No, that's, but yeah, it, it kind of happened. The father was no. like, "Oh my god, what happened?" The teachers were like, "Oh my god, what happened?" They were distant from the situation, just like we are supposed to be as I the didn't, audience. I didn't pick up on that. If anything, I picked up more on they they thought it came out of nowhere because they were all kind of crying and crazy. But then it gets hurried up and kind of skipped over because the teacher's getting fired. So now all of a sudden yeah. they kind of skip over all the grief and everyone's more worried about the teacher. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's quick. So you had this kid self-delete. I'm sorry. You had this kid self-delete. And then they cried about it for a second and skipped right over to the teacher. Yeah. I mean, so Robin, so Robin it's the, Williams is the main actor. I, it seems like it was kind of like, it seems like it was added after the movie. Like, we need something else. <laughs> this is kind of boring. We need a shocker. Right. <laughs> but that would be my biggest complaint. The thing I liked the most was Robin Williams. I think he really knocked it out. I thought he played the teacher very, very well. And I thought when he was on the screen and when he did talk about poetry, I actually cared a little bit. Usually I don't ever care about poetry. I, I kind of hate how mysterious he was. Okay, I could see that. Like they were they were diving into his past and still couldn't find anything. I mean, they found his book or his yearbook and kind of saw what he was in, which is how they came up with the Dead Poet Society because he was in it. But like... Other than that, it doesn't really dive into him at all being the main character. And then it's almost like he's just, he's a supporting character that entire time. Hey, you're doing good. Hey, you're doing good. Hey, you're doing good. Oh, I'm getting fired. Realistically, what I'm trying to get at is it feels like Robin Williams didn't have to be the one for this role. I agree. It could have been any other actor that was big at the time. I agree. It could have been... You know, Matt Damon as a younger teacher. It could yeah, the have kids been... the kids carried the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, uh, you could you could have inserted Sam Elliott into uh, Robin Williams' position, and, and it didn't need to be him. No. Mrs. I... Doubtfire needed to be Robin Williams. Yeah. It's Dead Poet Society. No. No, but I still like the teacher the most. Yeah. Uh, he was the best part, but it didn't need to be him. I agree. I agree. It didn't. It didn't shine his talents the best, and I uh, and I think it's because exactly like you said, he didn't feel like if you would ask me who the main character was, I would have told you the kid who self deleted. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, in my opinion, that's who it was, and I think that's why I'm so upset that there wasn't more like for us as a watcher. My favorite part, yeah, uh, was when everything started clicking. If it was a '90s movie, there would have been you know, punk rock at Mm -hmm. those times where they're in the cave, they're having fun, they're joking around and nothing really bad has happened yet. They're just playing like the saxophone. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite part is watching them do the play. If I actually, that was hard to watch for me. (laughs) Really? I, he just was really enjoying himself. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was having the play, fun. and honestly, watching him as a funny little sprite. Do <laughs> 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 yeah, like hiding? <laughs> I was like, okay, you know, there's some humor, right. there's some right. stuff. I like that. The, my my least favorite part was probably literally the self deletion scene because I think Red almost ruins it. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! no, no. Like I didn't believe him. <laughs> I didn't it wasn't convincing. They should have taken a couple more shots. I don't know. All right, but in our next section here, uh we're going to do what the Rotten Tomato score is. Ooh. Remember there are two ratings for the Rotten Tomato score. There is the tomato meter, which is critics, but there is the popcorn meter, which is the popular vote. Okay, okay. Our first one is the tomato meter. How certified fresh do you think the reviewers think Dead Poet Society uh, is. This is, uh, from what I remember, it always gets brought up. It's Critically a cult acclaimed classic. movie. Yeah. Always. These acclaimed movies never hit with me, man. Yeah. Never hit with me. Um, I'm going to give it like a 64 or something like that. 64. Like 64% of people liked it, right? That That is how that works, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 64. 85. 85% uh, of critics 85. like this movie. Okay. Well, they would. 
Yeah. They would. It's about <laughs> nothing. It's about nothing, and it slowly goes nowhere. They would love it. Well, actually, that's not true. I think me and you did discover that it wasn't really about poetry. Yeah. I really think it's an underlining theme for me. Oh, yeah, it's day. a coming of age. Uh, well, I think it's really a story about homosexuality. It's just covered up. And self-deletion. Well, yeah, because of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just blanketed as poetry. Right. Uh, second, how do uh, you think the oh, populist my. thinks? Okay, this one, I think they're right up to 81. I'll go 81. 81. I think they're a little less in the critics, but I bet the people really like it. Oh, people really like it. Way more than you even think. 95? 92% oh, of people like this movie, as evidenced by our poll. But, damn. I disagree with you guys. I don't know. Maybe we're not... I don't... I don't like the same movies you do, I guess. <laughs> This, to me, really felt like it went nowhere. And, like, I'd like a twist, but when the twist makes sense. Not when it comes out of nowhere with uh, with you telling me nothing. <laughs> well, there's not even that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Budget. How much do you think it costs to make this movie? Okay, the, the highest amount is going to be paying these Robin Williams. Because right. the other actors aren't old enough, I don't think, yet to be paid too much money. Nin- 1989. To be fair, 1989 is when this movie came out. Yeah. What I'm saying is the kids in the movie, I don't think we're big enough actors where they would no. take that much. No. So I'm going to say three mil. Three million? Yeah. You think it costs three million dollars to make this movie? Well, sure. I don't know. One mil? 16.4 mil. I'm surprised it even took that much. Mm-hmm. What? There's no special effects. You're only paying the actors. That's true. I mean, it, it is shooting for the place. You're only, you're only, like, you have a cave as a setting. You have a stage and you have desks. Those would be your settings. The other one was that little room with the, with the radiator in it. That's about it. That's, that's all the settings you get. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to, it shouldn't cost much for set. I don't know. Uh, but I, but how much is like, dude? It's it had to make like, I don't know, forty mil. It made quite a bit. A hundred mil. Quite a bit. Keep going. Three hundred mil. Two hundred mil. Yeah, two hundred and thirty-five point nine million. Holy, off of sixteen mil. Off of sixteen million. Go them. They knocked a home run with that. Jeez. Last thing here, bud. How many drew heads you give it? Uh. You're going to hurt somebody's feelings. One and a no half what true she heads. Says. One and a half One true heads? Half, yeah. Really? Yeah, I really didn't. I probably won't watch it ever again. No? No. I didn't like it. I feel like a lot of it came out of nowhere. It could have been much better. You could have built up a lot more with the setting that you had, especially between dad and son to really make it feel, you know, more home. I probably also wouldn't watch it unless, like, it was on already. You had to. Yeah. Because if it was on and I had to remote, I'm flipping the channel. No, I'd probably let it go. Really? Yeah. Mm, difference between me and you. I'd flip it. Uh, but that difference gives me an extra head. I think I'm going to go two and a half. Two and a half? Heads. Yeah. All right. This is probably our most dramatic difference. Yeah. Usually we're right yeah, about normally the same. We're right about it. This one's probably our most dramatic difference. Yeah, <laughs> I, a I, whole Drew head. I did not care for this. I don't see what's a cult classic, but hey, there's movies I love. It's a that coming people of hate. age movie. Do you like yeah. Breakfast Club? Not really, but I like Days and Confused, which is a coming of age story. I also like uh uh uh, oh, what's the Little Kids? That's a coming to age story. Stand by me. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good one. Never seen it. Sandlot. <laughs> That's barely coming age. It's a great dude. He fakes drowning. We get kissed. Everybody knows that. Come on, Smalls. That's not this movie we're not talking about. I know that. there's a much better movie we're talking about. We're on Anchor, Apple, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. The lunch table PBJ is probably how you're watching us right now. So if you are, keep go ahead and doing that. We're on YouTube and Rumble at the Lunch Table PBJ. That might be how you're watching us right now, so if you are... Keep go ahead and doing that. 
We're on Twitter at LunchTablePBJ. That's how you can stay up to date on some of the stuff that we're doing, as well as take care of our polls. Oh boy, oh boy, do I love it when you take care of our polls. Keep in lookout for any of the other polls that we have set up that might be going on to tell us what the next takeout might be. Yeah, maybe that's how we got to decide right. with these we, polls. We, uh, we don't want to do the roles anymore, it seems. No. Honestly, we might do it this way, where we just pick an actor, pick four of their movies, and go, hey. Yeah. I kind of like, like it. Yeah. yeah. Even And more of their unknown movies. Yeah. Like Robin Williams being more... Se- really... I know they didn't vote for it, but the picture one I really want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> one hour photo. Yeah. We're on Facebook at the Lunch Table with PBJ. That is how you can stay up to date on some of the stuff that we're doing, as well as, you know, tell us how we're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us if you like that takeouts might be coming back. We're on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts at the Lunch Table PBJ. CJ takes care of those. He does a wonderful job. Uh, build them up. Mm-hmm. Knock them down. Knock me down. Lastly, we're on Patreon at the Lunch Table with PBJ. If you want to be one of those people that gives a little bit extra, that's the way to do it. Ooh, I love the people that give extra, just like the gun. Where you could be given a little bit more extra and get a stride. Don't worry, we love you. Uh, and as always, you're more than welcome to tell us what you thought about our ratings. Am I stupid? Is it a cult classic? Did I miss things while watching? Very possible we talked through the whole movie. Yeah, we did. All the time. So, it is what it is. If you also didn't like any of the snacks we were eating, I don't care. Tell me your favorite snack, though. Has to be a movie watching snack. Has to be a movie watching snack. Is that, I, I yeah, no that. soup. No. <laughs> <laughs> no soup. That's not movie watching snacks. Beef jerky. Beef jerky is, yeah. You even be turkey during a movie? No, not really, but it's hand, like, it's not the worst. It's a road trip. That's a road trip. That's not a movie snack. Good point. Okay. Yeah, that's that's Wolf Drive and give you a good protein. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you eat your beef jerky, but with a king size Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it in there. <laughs> it makes it rock hard. Alright. Any other movies you want to suggest, leave them down at the bottom. Peace. See ya. <laughs> Cut. Gotta say cut. Oh. Cut.